this video is all about camper van toilets. It might not be your thing. Whether you live in your camper van, you're just a weekend camper vanner. Whether you like camping, this is gonna be for you. We all need to go to the toilet at some point. I've used three different types of toilets and another scenario while I've been living in my camper van. And there is always public toilets as well, but most of the time, they're not clean to the hygienic standard that you need to. At night time, normally they're locked off so you can't use them at night. They're very few and far between now and that's because it costs an awful lot of money to actually keep on top of public toilets. You slowly lose a bit of your freedom if you have to stay in one area just because there's public toilets there. And most public toilets nowadays are cash entry only. What happens if you've got no cash on you? Now there is the option of using standard high street shops but normally their toilets are for customers only. Again, you'll have to buy something to be able to use those facilities. It's always the option of going completely wild, digging a hole out in the middle of the forest somewhere. However, there is some strict guidelines to follow if you do go down that line. There's plenty of websites around on Google that will tell you the specific guidelines that you'll need to follow. Not following those guidelines means you're gonna end up with the beauty spots that we've still just about got available to us, absolutely covered in various matter, that we don't want. The more people don't follow those guidelines, the more of those spots are gonna get taken away from us. The problem with that sort of scenario is you can never actually guarantee being out in the middle of the wild to be able to get away with doing that sort of thing. That's why having a toilet inside my camper van is vitally important to me. That way I'm never trying to think, where can I go to the toilet? I'm never waking up in the middle of the night going, oh, where can I go? It just fills the best of every scenario, but I've used three different types of toilets inside my camper van. They all have their advantages, they all have their disadvantages, but one stands out above the rest. And that one is my Trellino composting toilet. You see, I'm completely off-grid, self-sufficient all of the time. Maybe once a month, I'll spend a night on a campsite, but that's only when I've got my son and he likes to do all the activities that come along with the campsite. So having a chemical toilet where you need to empty it in a designated Essen point, isn't suitable for me because I'm never around those locations. Plus that costs quite a bit of money to keep topping up all your chemical within the portable chemical toilet. On that same note, if you do have a shower room like me, you can go down the line of a chemical cassette toilet, one where the toilet is permanently built into that unit and you go outside or inside to remove the whole cassette that's got everything in, take it to a dedicated point to be able to empty it. The problem with that is you need to have a designated place once again to be able to dispose of all the matter inside that cassette how many times have you emptied a chemical toilet and it spilt on you or splashed back on you you don't get that with a composting toilet the way to work off grid with a chemical toilet is once a week once every two weeks you have to go to a campsite that have dedicated spots or if you're abroad go to one of the airs and pay to dispose of whatever is inside that chemical toilet i'm trying to really be like not so crude by saying what's inside those toilets, but we all know what's gonna be inside them. With a composting toilet, you don't have those limitations. You can dispose of everything inside there, but if the liquids can just get poured down a public toilet drain as and when you find one. Number two, literally, your number twos, it's fully biodegradable, so you could drop that straight onto a compost heap. We'll talk through all the technicalities slightly later. In my previous videos where I've done previous camper van builds and previous adventures, you'll notice I did use the chemical toilets for only a few times. The one part, apart from finding somewhere to dispose of the chemicals and all the matter, was when I was walking it from the camper van to the area where I was actually going to dispose of it, it'd be sloshing around inside the toilet in my arms, the amount of times it leaked out onto my top. Now for me, with my toilet inside my camper van, I only wanted a small toilet, a compact one that I could easily move out of the room, solely because I've only got a small shower room. And that was solely so that I could be able to fit a full bench, single bed size bench just there. I also needed one that I could easily use for a month without needing to empty it. Something that could hold that capacity inside of it, but also be small and compact to be able to fit inside that shower room without being an inconvenience. That's why the Trellino composting toilet was absolutely perfect for me. They're a German company and they're really popular around Europe. They've only just come into the UK recently. They've got three different designs. The all new, brand new, timber range that can also be purchased as a budget friendly diy option they've got the evo which is this one and they've also got the origin the evo is my preferred one with its soft closed lid and fits in absolutely perfectly with my full camper van design 
But for a bit more style, you can go down the line of the Origin, which has got a wooden lid on it. It looks absolutely beautiful. And they come in three different sizes. I've currently got the large, but you can get the small and the medium and all three sizes in both different designs. You can also get these in a few different colors too. It's all on their website, which will be linked down below. To be able to get the toilet out of the actual shower room for when I do want to shower, it's so easy because you have handles built into the sides. But on their websites, you can also get additional handles Handles. I got them for mine and it's these leatherette styles come with a little fitting kit that I'll be fitting slightly later There was a few other things on their website that I just had to pick up while I was there. Check it out Trellino socks <laughs> How cool are they even their biodegradable bags that you put in the number two section they even got a Comfortable little topper to sit on top of the toilet So I think that makes it look a little nicer when it's sat inside the shower room So how does it work to eliminate all smells well that's what we're going to get into if you open it up it's a composting separation toilet the number ones go into the front number twos go into the back if the number ones and the number twos mix that's when we get the odor that we all know far too well so as you open the lid up you will straight away see the separator again number twos in the back number ones go in the front you can lift that off and that's what it looks like underneath number twos number ones funnel down into this little funnel which goes into this water jug just here it's got a big hole in it but when you want to transfer this over to a place to dispose of it one it's got a handle on it so you can pick it out just like that believe me this this size lasts me well over two three weeks i've got a solid lid that I got with it that I just store inside it. So I remove that lid, put that lid on, saves any spillage going around. The thing I like is I randomly stumble across the odd public toilet here and there, and I just think, oh, I'll go and empty my toilet. I never really have to try and search for a toilet. It doesn't fill up quick enough for me to struggle to find somewhere to dispose of it. I will just randomly stumble across something and think, I'll take this opportunity. Get to my place, I empty it out, rinse it out with good clean water, drop it back into that front compartment, get that lid, again, washed and clean, just drop it straight down there. The bucket at the back, that's where the number twos go. This is where the composting section really plays into effect. This is all it is, it's got a lovely handle. And in the bottom of the box, you've got a lid to be able to put on top of it to be able to transport it to dispose of it. That sits in the bottom and creates a nice platform for that to sit Get on. Get your recyclable plastic bag or your biodegradable bag, whatever you're using, drop it in the bottom of the bucket, wrap it around the side, make sure it's nice and secure. Now inside that bucket, you can put any biodegradable matter. Whatever it is, it has to be moisture absorbing. So for me, I like to use standard sawdust just because it's extremely readily available. You can get it in near enough everywhere. I picked this one up from Aldi. The idea for this is for it to go in the bottom of there and absorb any moisture from the solid matter that goes in. When that moisture is absorbed from that solid matter, you get no smells. Once that's all sorted, it's just a case of grab the separator and it just simply, the right way around, you can see the funnel straight on top, just like that, clicks in, perfect. Now it is ready to use. You can go perfectly fine, number ones, no smell at all. Number twos, do your business, drop some more of this on it, shut the lid, you never have to worry. The smells will be eliminated. I'm quite curious to try coffee grounds in it because simply imagine the smell of coffee kicking around. I wonder if it will give a smell of coffee. I don't know, it's something I wanna try. Let's talk through all the pros and cons of the Trellino toilet. Firstly, this is not a paid sponsored brand deal or anything like that. This is my complete open and honest opinion. There is a couple of cons. The pros, I love the fact it doesn't look like a toilet. That blows my mind, especially when the top's on it and it's sat there. I've even had somebody say, oh, I'll just sit down here when it's actually my toilet. I like that it's German made and that just means the quality. I mean, I've been using this now for five months, every day sat on this, lifting the lid up and down and the soft closed lid works absolutely flawless every single time. I love that it's reduced my monthly outgoings because now I no longer need to find a campsite every single week or somewhere to dispose of a chemical toilet waste. I can just use this for a good month or so. I empty the toilet once every two weeks or so. Just give it a little rinse with a bit of uh, distilled vinegar or something like that to clean it out just to eliminate any smells that may be there. Although 
I think that's me just being a bit overkill because I've never actually had a smell from the urine container. I love how it just gives you a bit of freedom, like the number twos, you can dispose of that bag cleanly. You can just take the separator off the top, tie the bag up and dispose of that area the same way you dispose of standard dog waste. There's no plumbing involved, there's no wiring involved. Some of these you can have an electrical fan built onto the side with a hose that goes through the floor outside. Just in case there is any smells, that can just eliminate them straight out the floor. But there's nothing like that with this. It's so easy to use and easy to install. But when it is installed, you can easily move it back out like I do when I want to shower. Because it doesn't use any water to flush, it's meant I don't need to have a 180 litre water capacity in my water tank to be able to operate this, my shower, my sink, and all those other facilities. But there's two cons. One of them was down to me, which also relates to a massive positive. You see, I still had a smell coming from the, the number two section when I first started using it. So I Instagram DM'd them and said, I'm still getting a smell, but your website says there's no smell. What am I doing wrong? Am I doing something wrong? Have you, one of them sort of things. Straight away, they got back to me and said, try using a little bit more biodegradable substance inside. I, I use sawdust at the moment. So I started putting a bit more in there. Boom, solved the issue straight away. I wasn't using that much and it wasn't absorbing all of the moisture that was in the number twos meant it still smelled. So if you do have that issue with your composting toilet, just use a bit more. Or if your sawdust like mine was, it was quite chunky stuff. The more finer substances you use, the quicker it'll absorb the moisture, no smells at all. And one thing I've noticed since I've got a little bit older is good customer service is a massive plus for me. The other downside, again, partly down to me and my driving skill, it was sliding around a lot inside my shower room and I didn't like that. So I went out and I got these little rubber feet £2.20 from B&Q and they're self-adhesive on one side and I stuck them on all four bottom corners. I've not had a problem since. That is my review of a Trellino composting toilet. I'll leave all the links down in the description down below. If you're new around here, please subscribe.